Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome to Life with Zay. Um, today is Total Freedom Thursday. So we will be going live with Devin here in a moment. As soon as he comes live, we're going to be talking about core values. Oh, let's see. I need to see which one is better. No light or light. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I can. So listen, this is no lie. Or should I do like? Is it bell? Look, like? No like. Uh, yeah, go for the light. This, this is, is no light. This is light. Yeah, that's good. That's good. No I don't do that on my end. There's no feature for me to do on my end, is there? Well, that's from the um, that's from the ring like you bought me. Oh uh, yes. And we are live. Hello, 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 pe beautiful people. Flash. Welcome to Life with Zay. Today is Total Freedom Thursday, and this is where Devin and I, and this is Devin, Devin Edwards, my business partner, my boo my best friend. Um, every Thursday we come live and we talk about, it's, it used to be the lifestylist panel and we consider ourselves the lifestylists. I don't know, we haven't really said it in a while, but mainly because we literally um, are designing our lives. Like we're designing the lives that we deeply desire. And so we mm -hmm. just love to like share that with y'all and empower y'all to do the same like everybody should be happy everybody should be living their 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 desires and so that's what we do on thursdays today we're actually going to be talking about core values so the man, mm -hmm. what, what what are core values what exactly even are core values that's interesting so i mean i don't know the textbook definition but i would consider core values those that internal belief system that you it's like rules for your life that you adhere to in terms of how your character is um how you approach life and things you things you things you you the the main things you value in your life and in your yeah just in your in your life and and it also applies to 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 things you value within like things you're doing like a, a business for example or things you value at the workplace or things you value in a family you know like what are those core values what are those things that you can put on five fingers and say okay these are the things that i truly value yeah, How about yeah. yourself? So, yeah exactly what you say i mean when you look at the words i mean core what is like the source or the root of your beliefs like what like what are your values what are your your principles that you live by um mm -hmm. what's important to you like what 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 things or what words um guide you on your journey so yeah, yeah i definitely agree i mean we can get straight into it so um the van and i we created a total freedom community and pretty much in this community, we are all about total freedom. And, uh, you know, what that means, uh, we actually heard this concept from a very successful doctor. And I never heard about it, but pretty much he said total freedom is having complete freedom in your life. And, you know, it consists of time freedom, emotional freedom, financial freedom, health freedom. And that's a tribal freedom. Yeah, geographical freedom. Yeah. So yeah. and I, when I heard that concept, I was like, oh, my gosh, that's what I want. And it and it really gave me clarity and vision, um, like, you know, how I really wanted to live my life and what am I doing? Yeah. What am I working for? And so with that, you know, it's important to have core values because it kind of um, it kind of it helps you create a plan and a path yeah. to get to that to that final goal and in our sense it's total freedom right yeah and, and also with core values it, I like for me 
it definitely helps us anchor anchor ourselves in terms of our authenticity and who we truly are like yeah. like things that align with who we truly are so it's like even i remember like you know when you're at school or you're at workplace and you're just doing things that deep down you just know you it don't feel right or you don't want to do you know what i mean it, 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 like it's not like you don't want to do it like it just don't feel right you know and it's like that's when you can recognize okay something's not this my core values is not present here you know what i mean my something's not something's not working like something's it's not it's not in alignment and yeah. When you when I when I when I when I look back at that, I was like, oh my days! It's like I was doing this, like, but that got that got that kind of internal um internal system was like was giving me the information to say, yo yo, Devan, this is not your core cool value, you know. This is not this is not something that you actually are passionate about. This is nothing. This is not something that's gonna actually serve your highest good. So you might want to reconsider this. Yeah, I but, like but it. it's like when it's like when you reflect on it, then you you really yeah. deep it. I, I like that because it's, it, it definitely because it, a lot of, you know surprisingly there are so many people who don't know who they are or what they want in their life and so mm -hmm. it grounds you so like if you're put in a yeah. situation or you know something happens in your life you you know how to respond and you and you're not like feeling weird about it because you know like uh this is in alignment with me or this isn't in alignment with me so mm -hmm. it, it kind of it's kind of like your foundation that's what I wanted to say. Your core values are part of your foundations for who you are. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's so important for us to have a foundation of like a root uh, roots of who we really are. Cause so many people don't, and, you know, having core values, having principles that you live, live by, um, it definitely helps you build that foundation. It's a part of your foundation. Um, so you make sure you're in alignment with just different things that's just going to happen throughout life. Yeah, yeah. So like core values is like it's kind of like your own personal philosophy, like your your yeah. way of life. You know, yeah. It's yeah. So and the, and for um, for us in terms of like total freedom and our total freedom team and our um and the community the we have a culture where we 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 stand by some core values and we're gonna share that with um, anyone that's watching. Um, um we have about you're trying to bring them up right now. <laughs> yeah, I I got them up as well. I got them up. Okay. So we got about six we got six core values, so and and, no. and, of, and of course we have our individual and I, I, I didn't tell i don't know y'all please excuse me i didn't even as you hop on make sure you say hello um if you're watching the us live drop a one in the comment if you're watching the replay drop the replay in drop number two in the comment so we know mm -hmm. if you're watching that or you're watching replay but we are going to get into the core values but what i was going to say was of course um we have because we are individual beings um we have our own our own things but you know as you grow in life and as you begin to attract people in life you yeah. um you you realize you want to be around people who are moving in the direction you want to move so with us creating this community we want to attract people who are like us or better than us you know what i mean mm -hmm. and also just have um they're on the same like mindsets and energy and frequency because yeah. of our goals right so um a month a, 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 like the man and i we're individuals so we have our own individual like things that are important to us but then as together you know because what they say two brains is better than one um and also just to build something big you know it takes, yeah. a, it takes a village on your own. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. <laughs> you said at the same time <laughs> so 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 um when we, when we came together we were like hey we're going to build this community what are some things amongst the both of us that's really important to us and what we came up were was these six values of these community and i want you to definitely pay attention because if you know you resonate with any of these we want to know which ones stand out to you the most but then also like um if you feel like hey we your people let us connect because we're all growing and just trying to collaborate and grow with other people so um want me to start yeah george should we, should we take turns or, yeah, yeah 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 let's do that let's do that yeah, why, not? why not why not um so number one is personal development and mm -hmm. the way we define personal development for us in our community it is self-care number one it is proper sleep nightly <laughs> A favorite you know doing your favorite things throughout the week or if you can do it daily love on yourself often doing what you need to do to take care of yourself and um be the best you first so taking care of yourself your personal development being spiritually grounded whatever your 
your your your beliefs or your faith are just making sure you are connecting into that and then the third thing under personal development is just being yourself use your strengths and do what's natural to you you know what i mean like uh be your best you so we just want people who are who who prioritize self-care and 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 love on themselves like we want to be around people if you if you feel like boom like self like love self love self care is a priority to you we want you we want to be around people like you because um if you taking care of yourself you fill yourself up then you can um you can you then you can start taking care of other people but you can't help other people from an empty cup so i know yeah. like for us like <laughs> one thing about me i don't play about no sleep so that's why i i had to put that on the hey i'm going to oh hey i do not play about yo no the sleep sleep queen out here i'm there for real you actually are a sleep I, I queen go, I, when is that time and and, and and i i'm not like that rigid on it but when it's that because yeah. but i value sleep because for a long time i wasn't sleeping so now mm -hmm. i know sleep is a priority i feel better i think better i'm a better person when i'm not tired you know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's quite key as well, like, in terms of developing, is like, you know, just the phrase that, oh, if you're not growing, you're dying. Like, so yeah. you, you, you want to be in a state of, like, okay, I'm actually developing myself. And that, and yeah. that requires you to really tap into grounding yourself. That really, that really, and restoring you, you, can't be, you can't really be yourself. You can't really develop if you're, um, deprived. Not or... like, yeah, if you're just holding yourself back. Like, you need to take care of yourself. Yeah, and then like that, that kind of development process even just begins naturally. Yeah, yeah. You want to do more now that you've done what you've done some you've done something for yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely like taking care of yourself, whatever that looks like for you. I mean, meditating daily is important. Oh, yeah. Whatever your self care that. for routine. I you know we want people who love on themselves, who are committed to healing. You know, doing shadow work and stuff like that, but then also growing and developing developing themselves to grow and be better um like i said spiritually grounded we want to be around spiritual beings because at the end of the day it's something bigger than bigger than that we don't care what your beliefs are as long as you believe in something um because you know um it it's just in alignment with life right yeah so being spiritually connected to the stores and also just you you begin to understand like natural law and um yeah, in an alignment with that you know, and then, uh, like I said, just being yourself. We want people who are authentic and confident with who they are. We don't want nobody um, who, who, we don't want nobody who, who fake. <laughs> I don't want to be around nobody fake. That, yeah, it's just lit. That's like, a good, just we want to be yeah. around people who are authentically themselves or learning to be themselves because it's a journey. So yeah, I, and it, it, yeah. oh. I was, I was going to, I was going to, I was going to say one of the core values, but I was like, okay, let me, let me stop. But um, if anyone's watching this again, um put in the chat put in the comments below like what do you do for personal development for yourself yeah. like how do you how do you take care of yourself how do you ground yourself spiritually like how, how do you be yourself you know like it's a real question so yeah. let, us know. let us know okay number two and this is not in any order but you know can i read it oh, it's my turn, yeah yeah yes. okay so number two is the paragon and abundant mentality uh, a model of excellence and generous mindset, um, striving to thrive in thrive daily in every aspect of your life, and servant leadership. So this is an interesting mm -hmm. one. Any thoughts on that? I I, I was gonna let you go first. Oh okay. So so Paragon and uh, abundant mentality. If anyone doesn't know what Paragon is, Paragon pretty much means like operating in excellence. So. Again, if you don't know what excellence means or represents, find a representation of that. Because you know, the you know people that quoted like black excellence or like excellence in terms of like people excelling at their in their talents in their the best of their abilities or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So if you if you see someone operating at the best of their abilities, the good, good great examples are um, athletes. Mm. Athletes are great examples because they've trained their whole life like one moment you see like actors singers they've trained their whole life practice every day for this for these for these moments these moments of success and and, 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 and they're consistently you know practicing at their best like they, yeah, yeah they're striving to thrive daily like if, yeah. if you really if you really pick into the mentality of, a, of an athlete 
they are zoomed in, they are honed in. Like I remember, I remember, I, I remember like watching yeah. videos like, like Kobe Bryant, like Michael Jordan. Like wh when you see videos of them, they they're like, yo, this is the goal. Like they 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 see they see them shoot themselves scoring a goal before it happens. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Like their their whole walk of life, not even just not even just on the court, but outside of the court, mm -hmm. they 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 keep they they keep to that um that that model of excellence, mm -hmm. and they're also general generous people as well. They're really like not not really holding back their 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 gifts. And like if they if there's a gift of mm -hmm. giving, if you have if you if anyone's watching, if you have a gift of giving, like it's, it's don't, a lot. don't 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 yeah don't don't sway away from that. If if that's yourself, if that's, if that's like what you personally developed yourself into like keep keep giving keep being generous um and knowing mentally like where that will take you as well so um and uh, well, servant leadership you, you want to speak on that yeah. well no no I, I was gonna add on to you can hit servant leadership and then i'll hit on like from my perspective yeah so servant leadership so when it comes to leaders like leadership Leadership is not management. You don't want to be like saying, "Oh, you do this, you do that," like just telling me what to do, but not really um, understanding what their needs and requirements are. Like I remember um, studying sports science. Like you, when you're working with a client, you need to know like what are these, what are the individual needs. Like mm -hmm. you have to really, really understand these people and like really get to know them, so that you can um, and know yourself as well, because you can't really lead others if you can't lead yourself. So you need you need that um that mentality to say, okay, um, I'm gonna go the way, I'm gonna show the way, and I'm gonna help I'm gonna help you along the way. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's what a servant does. And like we just it's just helping each other up and saying, No, okay, it's not that it's not um it's not that I'm better than you, it's just that I knew this before you or I have this knowledge and you can have this knowledge mm. too, or these these different things. Like there's a win win relationship that, yeah, that comes with service. I'm gonna help you. Yeah, like empower you, you know what I mean? Like yeah, to live yeah. like a total freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I went real quick because I feel like this is going to be long, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll speed up in it. We'll speed up. Yeah. Uh. Um, but um, so as far as like Paragon, I mean, at the end of the day, the more I grow, I just know like um, I heard Jay Z said like he was like, "We're not doing this to try to be number two. Like, I don't understand why so many people are afraid of like." vocally or just in action like really being mm -hmm. about it you know what i'm saying like really saying yeah. hey i'm trying to be the best i want to be the best like why is that like bad to say you know what i mean i feel like people are scared to say i want to be my best or i want to do my best or i want to be number one like you know what yeah. i mean but 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 like like you said going back to sports we pay people so telling, yeah. thousands and thousands of dollars to watch them you know be their best and put on a game for us to entertain us that's kind of weird like i want to be my best i want to be on the field you know what i'm saying so i want to be around people with that same mindset that same energy that same um belief and abundant mindset i don't want to be around nobody saying well it's not enough for everybody or you know a, from a lack um, yeah no, we don't a lack. Want, want the spirit of lack you know what i mean yeah like i want people no, to public like, consciousness enough, you know we don't want enough that. for everybody we all can be our best self and it's not going to be competition because we only like you said can help each other come up so um no mediocrity i don't want people who just want enough i want people around me who yeah you take care of yourself but you are such a blessing and you claim that but you are such a blessing that you're gonna go even further to help other people you're mm -hmm. gonna go even further to help other people like that's proven that you're blessed like it's one thing I forgot how Jim Rowan said to sit down and take care of yourself. But when you go out and you pay it for it to your neighbors and in the community and the world, like that's how you prove that you really are blessed. You know what I mean? A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah. But prove it, prove it, prove that you're blessed. Like pass it on to the other person. And there are other people who need you. And the more that we come and we help and we serve each other and collaborate, the better the frequency of the world will be, the better, um, you know, we can just help each other and grow. So I don't want no mediocrity near me no more. Like if if if, I'm, cool, yeah. if I'm too much, if you don't want to be, if you don't want to thrive, like bro, it's okay. Like we still can be cool, but if you trying to be in the circle, like I'm trying to thrive every single day, be an example. I want to be um, the epitome or the the example of excellence. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs>
okay, uh, it was then that was me. Integrity Center, pretty much. Um, the the quote this is number three. This is number three. Number three is Integrity Center. Um, and pretty much integrity is su is success dressed in work clothes. Integrity is success dressed in work clothes. So, um. I, I kind of, I'm not going to lie, this is kind of just remind me of the, one of the core values from the Air Force is literally doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. And, yeah. you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you, if you lacking in one area in your life, it's literally going to come in other areas at the li in your life, because at the end of the day, like you live with you. So you know what you're doing and what you're not doing. So even though other people may not be knowing, you're not going to be able to show up as your best if you know like people like people can praise you out in public all you want but you know if you're worthy or deserving of that praise because you know yeah. what i mean if you're like being, being a praised, good character if yeah. you're being praised that you're not really doing like it's gonna feel weird versus you like man yeah you're right i did do that so man yeah. just having integrity i want un authentic and, te and uh, integral pe people around me what about you what about what what did integrity center mean to you yeah yeah so for me um yeah it's definitely like being a good, good character you know what i mean it's like um are you are you being um true to yourself are you being true to others when you communicate are you communicating from love are you communicating from mm. like from your from like from your spirit are you communicating with good intentions are you communicate are you are you actively looking to 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 give a good deed are you are you um thinking uh are you are you are you projecting good thoughts towards another person uh and stuff like that like are you are you are you really are you really um acting righteous in a sense so are you in your right mind because mm. right that's what righteous means righteous means to be in your right mind and those of integrity are in their right mind and they don't they don't have a they don't they don't fault their character they don't um they don't they don't they don't fall short when they um too often when they know themselves so when 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 they know themselves when you, the more you know yourself the more you are centered in your integrity the mm -hmm. more you are centered in what what makes you like what makes you you like your your character like Everything that that, that 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 the disciplines, the um, all all of these all of these these different things that that compose of who you are, like your character. So that's what that's that's for me. What like it means. Okay, you want to go next? Oh yeah, one of my favorites. So number four is willing, willing. Derived from the another word willpower synonymous with willpower and so willing with cheerful readiness to commit to personal goals and this entrepreneurial journey for at least 18 months to overcome your fears do what's comfortable uncomfortable for you and make sacrifices to transform into the best version of yourself now that's a bit packed, so let's unpack it. <laughs> so, um, when when we're willing, like you have to be like, or when whenever it comes to something in life that you know is for you, you know is possible. I remember hearing success is not is a decision, not a gift. Mm. So, and that that decision is based on your willingness, because on the other end of that willingness is winning like true winning is true willingness i always say that true winning is true willingness and with that with that willpower it comes an internal commitment mm -hmm. so so like that being willing is literally an internal commitment so like it don't matter what these outside forces are saying like you know that you know that mm -hmm. you want you want and you need to do this yeah like you you know that you you want to you want to and you need to transform your life. You know and you want to um, embark on this entrepreneurial journey, this journey of success, because you know 
what the end goal is. You know, you know why you're doing it. That's why you're willing. And you being willing, willing as well is also like a type of um, courage as well. Like you're, you're developing that power within you moving forward because you know you want to grow. Like, like you're willing to, you're willing to just grow like through whatever the fears are, whatever these illusions are. And also that kind of, it kind of ties in with integrity is like making those sacrifices, like being a good character, like making those sacrifices and willing to, to do what it takes. Like, um, I remember, yeah, just literally willing to do what it takes because I remember E.T. said, I did a post as well, um, just a reminder to myself and to others, like, you are the driver of your success. Like, you are the drivers of your success. And that's like, that willingness is based on like, that internal commitment, that internal belief system that something beyond you is possible. Something beyond um, your condition is possible. Something beyond this, this situation or this, 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 this circumstance that seems to be bleak is looking for you. So, yeah, and you're, you're ready for it. And you're 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 approaching it with with um with with not with just with, with kind of like a joy with like because you know what's going to happen once you in yeah. terms commit so yeah. Mm-hmm. I definitely like as far as I mean willing I mean anything in life takes effort. So so mm-hmm. I mean I just feel like you know whatever you're doing, do it you know, do it willfully <laughs> with cheerful readiness. Like, because no matter what you do, it's going to take effort. Everything we yeah. do takes effort. Like, if you want to get healthy, that's going to take effort. If you don't want to get healthy and you want to ruin your health, that takes that's effort. <laughs> it's all the same. But whatever you do, I mean, do it uh, willfully and, and do it cheerfully. And be intentional and force yourself to do the things that you know is required. Like, I mean, yeah. and, and I think that's important because it took me so long. I'm like, you know, I'm being positive. You know, I want these things. I'm trying to go after these things, but I wasn't like a hundred percent committed, meaning um, I wasn't really willing, but like you said, like it has to be something that comes out of you. Like it has to be, yeah that internal drive you said um but but do it because at the end of the day the way the natural laws work they, they work um if you put in the work you're gonna get it you don't know when because this ain't your world it ain't you know you just gotta be willing to go what have the baby grow go through the later labor you can't not say you want to be a parent you cannot say you want to be a parent and then tell him, tell him. No, and then skip labor and then just end up with your baby. You have to push mm-hmm. that baby out. You have to grow through the process. You have to yes. do the you have to go through labor. You have to do it. You have to push that baby out. So be willing to accept that yeah, it's pain and it's suck and it's you know, a near death experience, right? Mm-hmm. For women. Um but be grateful and, and be willing to do all of it to get the end result. So yeah. they're literally <laughs> like the short short the the short term loss for the long term gain. Like under really understanding that as well. And like, as you said, like in order to give birth to our dreams and goals, like you have to put some labor in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You can't you can't have birth without labor. Like I just love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the and next one is on being, the next one is being coachable um this is something that i'm still learning <laughs> but but I, I mean i feel like i do it but i just have to do it i have to implement faster but being coachable able being able to be coached right yeah and so pretty much you know in life we need to choose mentors that we that we resonate with um people who have the results that we want and we can learn from yeah. them and they can show it shorten the time frames of us getting to that goal um being an active student impl- implement what we're taught with speed right um being studious and open and being studious open to learn and do what's required to be successful so i mean like i said just being coachable like 
of course, you know, really committing to your mentors, not listening to everybody. You want to choose the person or the persons in that area that resonate with resonate with you and just and just implement what they say. Um, being an active student, not just you know being a what do they call it a um a information junkie pretty much you're just getting all this information listening listen listen but you're never executing being a student means getting on the field and practicing and playing um and implementing with speed and and i'm like i said i'm being transparent like i do implement but sometimes i don't implement like when they say okay do it now i'm like hold on wait let me think but I, but I, you know it's a process <laughs> It ain't no thinking. Just do what they said. You know, yeah. and, then you, and after you do it, then you plan to review. Um, and then yeah, lastly, right. being studious, being open to learning, do new things that I don't know. So just because something makes you feel uncomfortable, you know, if it's if it's not unethical, um, just do it. I mean, you, you don't know. And that's why you have the results that you have. So just being open to learn and do what's required if it's coming from that mentor if it's coming from those that person who uh that you chose uh to learn from so what, what, what what's your uh, insight about coachable being coachable so this is it's interesting because coachable it kind of follows the willingness mm -hmm. if like if you're not willing you can't even be coachable mm. you know what i mean so and with, with coachable i remember like i mean when i was younger there were, there, were certain, there were certain areas where I was just not coachable. I was like, yo, I don't I don't want to know what's required to do this. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like I I didn't wanna I didn't want to do it. Like, I was like, I don't yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not understanding what this is gonna result in. You know what I mean? Like I was I was thinking in that mind and really limiting my creative mind. But like it's so it's so important when it says what's required to be successful because to be co to to be coached is to gain the experience of what that would look like so and with limited um experience comes limited understanding and vice versa so you have to be coachable enough you have to know what's like not even know what's required but like experience it to understand it and that's what that's what it means to like even be coachable like you're like in like being act actively implementing it actively experiencing what you're being co what you're being coached on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because that's that's going to lead to the understanding and the understanding is going to lead to you being even more coachable because i remember i remember hearing one time <laughs> one of the one of the keys like i remember one of the keys to success was um someone said it's like a multi-million dollar earner he said the reason why he got to being successful was because he had the ability to follow instructions. Mm. And I was like, that was so simple. When he said it, I was like, oh my days. The ability to follow instructions. I was like, this is crazy. It was so simple. But then like when you reflect on it, like think uh, if you're watching this, like think of a time where you followed these instructions to a T and you you actively implemented it in that moment like how did you feel like and what came what result came from that was it successful because it might have been successful most likely it was it was a successful at, um attempt because you had all those those factors involved like you you did what was required you actively implemented it plus you had that little willingness that that kind of pierced through as well but and but th those are the abilities that was an ability like the action, the action itself is an ability. The activity is the ability. And um, yeah, like I, I'm, I'm glad I'm coachable now. <laughs> that, that's for sure. Like I'm an implementer for sure. Um, you are, and and it's so much stronger. Like your discipline and your consistency, and even like we'll be talking about. I'm like, hey, babe, can you do this? You'll literally stop. You will literally stop our conversation to go do it. I'm like, bro, okay, you OD in. Like, <laughs> let me finish my sentence. But you are uh, an implementer. You are an executor. So I will say that is something. That's like one of your strong. That's your strength. That's the strength of yours. So congratulations to you. Because that's something I'm still working on. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? So someone in the comments. Uh, oh, uh, then I ends pound. Happy holidays to you. <laughs> Happy holidays! <laughs>
Yeah, good okay. to see you, good to see you. Um, and the last one, I'll read the last one. Okay. So the last, um, number six, was it number six? Number six of our core values is hungry. You gotta be hungry. <laughs> you gotta be hungry. <laughs> like, let, let, okay, I'll, I'll, let me read the points first, then we can get into it. Okay. But, um, so hungry. A strong or irresistible desire to grow and develop. Show up to do simple income producing activities daily. Ambitious to do the basics when you didn't, when you don't feel like it or you are uncomfortable. Now, hungry, that's interesting. So, <laughs> I remember this joke. And my, my question to you is going to be are, are you a skeleton? And I'm going to get to it. There's a joke where it's like, um, why why are skeletons always scared? Because they ain't got no skin. Hold on, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking, wait, wait, wait. I was thinking. Okay, why are skeletons always afraid? Wait, wait, wait. Let me do this. Oh, snap. Why are they always afraid? Man, I want to get this. I just don't know it. Hold on, what? <laughs> Would you like the answer? Would you like the answer? Because, I mean. Oh, can you give me a hint? Is it an organ? A hint. A hint. Is it an organ? I mean, I'm always scared because they ain't got no. Give me a hint. Because they, they have no. Why are skeletons? Okay, I'm, I'm going to say it, but before they this. Just give up. me a hint. What to start with? A hint. Uh, it begins with a, a, a G. It gives hints what? to books. Yes. <laughs> a skeleton has no guts. Is that why they scared? And yeah, that's why they're free. So <laughs> guts. You have to have guts. You have to you have to have guts in order to actually go and go after what you want. Mm -hmm. And also you have to have guts to actually digest. Like if you don't like did you know that? If you don't even have guts, if you don't even have a, a gut, it's called a microbiome. Mm. It, this it has receptors in your gut, which tells you that you're hungry. It tells your brain, your gut tells your brain that it's time to eat. Did you know that? You can't, you can't be hungry if you have no guts. Mm. Not, that's you, can't be, you can't, you can't be ambitious if you have no guts. Yes. So my, my the question was, why are skeletons um, always afraid? Because they ain't got no guts. Mm -hmm. Because they have no guts. Did you read all the points? Why Why are skeletons always scared? Because they have no guts. Did you read all the points? No, I haven't read. Yeah, I read all the points. I read all the points. Oh. So, um, should I read it again? No. Um, okay. So, did you finish it? in terms of that, I remember Les Brown, he said, you gotta be hungry. You gotta be hungry. So if you guys don't know who Les Brown is, I definitely recommend you check out Les Brown. He said you've got to be hungry. Mm -hmm. And that, that really means like really having that strong, irresistible desire to grow and develop. Yes. Because growth is always, growth is the goal. But again, it's like we, we often fall short because we're not hungry enough for it. We're, we're, stuck, in a, we're stuck in a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And like, <laughs> let, me, let me ask you something. Like, being in, being being in a comfort zone, has that um, ever ever benefited your life? Has that ever like um, helped you move forward? Like, how has that has being in your comfort zone like got you, let's say, straight A's in the exam? Has that has being in a comfort zone um, made you made you do better on a test that you took? Dry, um, did, did being in the comfort zone made you make you read more? Did did being in the comfort zone make you want to pursue um, this career? Or did you have did you have to did you have to get up, get uncomfortable, and actively search or to to find to find these opportunities? Did you have to actively search like to sit to fill in these applications? Did you have to actively open a book? And read every page until it's done. Was you in a comfort zone then? 
you wasn't in a you, you wasn't in a comfort zone. You had to get uncomfortable first in order to actually move. Because movement is king. So it's like if like once once you once you get that movement going, you're then out of the uh, on, on, out of the comfort zone because most of society we're in a comfort zone. Like for example, let's say let's let's talk about let's let's even go on the financial aspect. A lot, of, a lot of society is in a comfort zone when it comes to finances. So, mm. like, we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not taught about, we, we, don't, we don't actively search to, to educate ourselves about finances, majority, not about, probably 9%. 95. But every, but, but every month, every, every, every week, there's someone worrying about bills. There's someone worrying about um, something in our economy. But not actively doing anything within their own economy. Mm. To, to to not be affected by that, yeah. So it's like, so you're 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 comfortable about something that is making your making 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 this making this um experience worse for you. So, but it takes it takes for you to be uncomfortable to enjoy the experience of what it means to have what it means to be able to secure your bills safely or. To, to be able to um, have have the money to invest or to have um, the ability to travel or the ability to buy that buy that thing that you always wanted without feeling any type of way you ha- you had to get uncomfortable somewhere deep down in your heart and your soul in order to to a- activate that because we live in a society where it's like uh, our programming is so limited. But we're but we're so limitless. Like if you if you look at these these wild videos, people are just doing all these crazy things in the world. Like if if they can do it, of course you can do it. If they can do it, I can do it. Like we see so much limitless thing limitless things in the world, but still we accept um, the limited beliefs. And you have to be hungry in order in order to to grow and develop through that. And Les Brown's a great example of that. Yes, I won't be long, but yeah, pretty much like you said, you got to be hungry. I mean, a strong and irresistible desire to grow, um, ambitious. Like, I, it's just something about, and we we all know that it's just something about like when somebody is ambitious, it literally like it it um, it's it's an honorable thing. It's like man, yeah. bro, I like bro, you got it, like. It, it, <laughs> Because it, it, it's like, you know, again, seeing somebody like strive in, you know, towards excellence, um, you know, um, it, it, it just pulls something out of us, pulls out our better self. So ambitious to do the basics when you don't feel like it or when you're uncomfortable. And yeah, I mean, just pretty much like you said, like being uncomfortable stops us from actually having what we want. And what I'm realizing and I'm like, oh, okay, is excuse me, the things that we're usually uncomfortable with, they're honestly, I mean, they may inconvenience us, but they're honestly not that hard or they're not that painful after you actually do it. And it, and it's not even as long or, you know, as, as bad as, you know, you dread it for. So I yeah. mean, having that hunger, I mean, it, you got to want more. Like you have to, you have to want more in order to do more. You can't, most yeah. people just don't do more. They do more because they want more um and so it's also an awareness as well you know what i mean yeah so i mean just as far as just being hungry i ain't really got too much to add because you said you know a lot um but literally not i guess not settling i mean it, it's one thing to be to be what's the word i'm looking for it's one thing to be um what's the word what's the word i'm looking for i can't think of the word it's one thing to be uh uh content but mm-hmm. being hungry for more and and like i said earlier it may not even be for you it may be for the other people who you can impact so definitely yeah. um hunger is important because and it and it again when you have that ambition ambition it empowers other people to like keep going like don't be afraid of your fears you know what i'm saying don't don't be afraid of you know anything that's outside of you like listen to you and 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 just strive in that and 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 yeah strive in that so 
I mean, to wrap it all up, um, our core values are personal development, paragon and abundant mentality, integrity centered, willingness, coachability, or being coachable, and having hunger. Like those are our core values in our community. Um, do you have anything to add before we wrap it up? Yeah, so I mean, these core values, they align with um, Zay and I's vision uh, for total freedom. And that literally is to empower people to live a life of total freedom, empower people to have that, that kind of location freedom, travel freedom, financial freedom, emotional freedom, you know, physical freedom, spiritual freedom, um, time freedom. And these are, these are, these are all things like, uh, there's at least one of these freedoms that someone, if you're watching this, so you, you desire, like if there's, there's, there may be one of those things, like, if, that, if, there's, if there's any of one of those things, like let us know in the comments below what that is. Yeah. But again, it's like when it comes to empowering ourselves to achieve a life of total freedom, it's going to come with some tests. Mm. You know. So the the universe is going to test the universe is going to test you. And I I once said that it came in the 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 metaphor in a metaphor in a metaphorical question. The metaphor the metaphorical question was: Are you willing? Are you coachable and are you hungry? Mm. Because those are ingredients to the success. Those are the ingredients that we re that's required of us to reach that life of total freedom. Like th those ingredients have to be there, and also you have to be engaged in personal development. Like you, being integrity centered, you know, having a paragon abundant mentality. Those these these are that these these core values are core ingredients to empowering ourselves to live a life of total freedom. And uh, let us know which one of the core values like stands out to you most. Because, and also, because if, again, you, yeah. if you have core values that you live by, please share them with us in the comments. Um, we we, yeah. we want to communicate with other people who are um, like-minded and um, who are, you know, who, who think like we think. So we would love to hear um, some of your personal core values or some principles that you live by. Uh, and you know to definitely share it with us and other people in our community um do you have anything else to add close us um, out okay close us out? you can close us out <laughs> well i just want to say thank you everyone for watching this um this live this uh this video on sh us sharing our core values we'll be back next week thursday 7 p.m est mm -hmm. for another total freedom thursday and this is Dave, this is um, Zay Faith, you know, and this is Devan Edwards, aka Devan Connector, connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself to live a life of total freedom. I just want to say stay empowered and just remember the connection continues. Have an amazing night, evening, day, wherever you are. Take and care. see you on the next video. Indeed.